life, a miracle in the universe, appeared around four billion years ago. And we humans, only 200,000 years ago. Either, let's say, the global ecosystem, or maybe you're talking about like the ecosystem that surrounds that mango tree, or the ecosystem that is in the San Salvador area. There's lots of levels to an ecosystem that you can think of. There are many ways in which a community is like an ecosystem. Likewise, there are many ways in which a body is an ecosystem. Um, within your body there are elements that are supporting each other. Uh, if any significant amount of your body stopped being a, a valuable contributor to the overall health, um, you would start to see a pretty consistent decline in quality of your life. Uh, likewise in a community, uh, the more the pieces of the community are harmonizing and supporting each other, the more connected we are, the more access to resources we have, the more educated we are. Uh, all of those things lead to a higher and higher sense of quality and connection in our community. Uh, the opposite is possible as well. Uh, you can have decreases in the regenerativeness of your community. It can be a drain. Uh, there can be toxicity in your environment. The water can be drained. Any number of things that, that can make your surroundings less healthy. So you can think of a, a community economy as an ecosystem as well. Uh, and then on the macro scale, you can think of society or the global economy uh, as being an ecosystem. And there again, uh, the more we see collaboration, the more we see sharing of information and sharing of resources across society, the greater levels of abundance the members of that society are experiencing. And those are some concepts that are increasingly obscure, I think, in our uh, in a lot of our education and in the economy, we, we don't get exposed to those concepts too much. But the basic idea is to just move in a direction of making things better. To not get too hung up on a lot of the specifics. To remember all of these things happen over the course of decades or lifetimes. So really just, you, you came into this world or this place or this region or whatever, and how can you make things around you a little bit better? And it's through that perspective that we start to expand our notion of what's possible towards something that we would call a regenerative culture.